hey hello friends once again welcome to ram tube academy please like and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this in this tutorial we are going to learn about angina pectoris angina pectoris is the sensation of chest pain pressure tightness or squeezing often due to the imbalance between the oxygen supply and demand situation in a portion of myocardium which happens as a result of obstruction or spasm of coronary arteries in normal heart oxygen demand and oxygen supply is roughly equal but when there is markedly increase in the demand of oxygen which is not met by oxygen supply then it leads to the angina pectoris and this happens because of the low blood supply to the heart as a result of blockage of coronary arteries now first let's see what are the signs and symptoms of angina if you have an angina you may experience uncomfortable pressure squeezing tightness or pain in the center of the chest which may radiate towards jaw neck shoulders and then to the arms also you may feel light headedness anxiety nervousness and sweating and the occurrence and severity of the symptoms depends upon the type of angina pectoris which may be precipitated during the exercise stress intense emotions or even at rest or in sleep as you know heart is the important organ of body which pumps the blood for all tissues and organs and the squeezing action is performed by the heart wall which is made up of smooth muscles the heart wall has three layers outermost layer is the epicardium middle one is the myocardium and the innermost is the endocardium for the normal functioning of the myocardium it needs nutrients and oxygen which is supplied by the coronary arteries the most common cause for angina is the atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is a condition in which fatty substance like cholesterol builds up inside the blood vessels and forms the atherosclerotic plaques which can block the blood flow through the vessels partially or completely and the multiple risk factors involved here are hypertension that is high blood pressure then diabetes mellitus and then sedentary lifestyle means the physical inactivity then age with age possibility of atherosclerosis is increases then ingestion of stimulants like caffeine or smoking cigarettes lowers the oxygen level in blood which can trigger the angina episode family history or genetic predisposition may accelerate the atherosclerosis so because of this obstruction coronary artery can no longer supply sufficient amount of oxygen to the heart which activates anaerobic metabolism and synthesizes lactate and leads to the lactic acidosis also this accelerates the release of chemicals like serotonin bradykinin histamine and the important one is the adenosine which triggers the pain in the chest there are mainly three types of angina number one is the stable angina this is the most common form of angina in which there is pain during the stress or exercise people with stable angina usually have angina symptoms on a regular basis which lasts for 5 minute the main cause of stable angina is the formation of atherosclerotic plaque in the coronary artery which blocks the blood flow during rest you may not feel any pain while during the exercise or with intense emotions or under the stressful conditions heart needs to work harder which increases the demand of oxygen but because of blockage of coronary artery oxygen supply is less which leads to release of pain mediators and causes the chest pain this type of angina can be relieved by rest or by the use of nitroglycerin as vasodilator second type of angina is the unstable angina unstable angina stage is between stable angina and the myocardial infarction in which coronary arteries with atherosclerotic plaque ruptures and starts thrombus formation that is blood clot which further blocks the coronary artery leaving behind very small opening for the blood flow and leads to frequent chest pains which are precipitated by less efforts in this case rest or nitroglycerin is not effective 
it requires hospitalization and more aggressive therapy to prevent death and progression to myocardial infarction unstable angina can occur with stress exercise or even at rest third type is the variant angina also known as prince metals or vasospastic angina an uncommon angina that occurs at rest is due to coronary artery spasm underlying cause of vasospasm or vasoconstriction is unknown symptoms are caused by decreased blood flow to the heart muscle due to spasm of coronary artery this type of angina is unrelated with the stress exercise intense emotions and can precipitate even at rest or during the sleep variant angina can be relieved by nitroglycerin and with the use of calcium channel blockers but not by rest i have prepared this table to distinguish between all three types of angina just go through it now let's see what are the drugs useful in the treatment of angina these are the several class of drugs which are useful in the treatment of angina like nitrovasodilators beta blockers calcium channel blockers potassium channel openers etc out of which nitrovasodilators are very much important in which in the emergency conditions we will discuss about the nitrovasodilators in my next video so do subscribe to our channel okay friends this is the end of the tutorial thanks for watching the video i hope you like the video if you like then like and share the video with your friends and comment below and if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos then hit the subscribe button thank you goodbye